Why, hello there. I'm Maris. This is Gamer Quest, and this is Planet Tiles. I do want to thank the devs for giving me a copy of this to take a look at. We are going to get ourselves into a game here. As you can see, I have a couple active technologies at Planet Protectors. I... I'm going to go for Rainforest Colony here real quick. Um, those can be changed. So what these are, are... You are terraforming a planet by putting down tiles, pretty much a tile-like puzzle game. You want to continue to match tiles and things like that to get higher scores and higher multipliers. That way you can also gain tiles back so you don't run out. Different boards, like the board we're going to play, as you can say, primary goal is to fill the planet so there are more, no more than 10 gaps. I have been having a heck of a time with this. So we're going to fail together and uh, have a great time in doing so. So you can see planetary protections. We've got different climate effects or events that can affect your planet while you are terraforming it. So we have um, excessive heat. We have volcanic eruptions, solar storms, uh, expiration dates, which means like... Um, satellites and things like that that are um, in the sky start falling not fun um, earthquakes meteor showers always lovely floods great way to ruin your farmland and uh, mission control failure which would be your um, people that are kind of controlling you and quote unquote giving you your missions a failure on their part and then it's it ain't so good either but we're gonna go back with the solar storm because i find that um this particular board seems to like the solar storms so i am using a hardwired xbox 360 controller this is a controller only game this does not work with keyboard and mouse controls are very simple it's pretty much your um trigger buttons and your amds and your analog sticks as well as directionals for accessing as you can see we can access different um, structures and buildings and things like that and upgrade and get more points by building nine, at least nine squares in these with the, uh, with a forest encapsulated for the oasis. Uh, so, let's see here. Um, I'm going to stick my island up here. Okay. Um, hmm. Remember, we want less than 10 gaps, and there is 200 spaces on this board. So, like, strategy is definitely a thing with this one. Now, like I said, the trick is to, when you put it next to an adjacent tile, you get five points. Any other place, you get one point. The more points you gain, the more tiles you get back. And again, we've got to get only 10 gaps left on this. That's why I said I've been failing miserably at this, so we can all joyously fail together at this. There's also a sandbox mode. You don't have to do the campaigns. You can get into the sandbox mode and just build right away. But, you know, why not do some missions? Oh, here we go. Observatory. So, 
that was good. We needed that. If we can get another one there, we can get a rainforest. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Um... What if I, uh, I gotta stick it on something. Okay, what if we, that should be enough space. Oh, this is not good. of my moves. Ooh, get a little XP. And go back at it. Um, I'm gonna leave them exactly the same. Sheesh. Let's put this back up here again. We're trying a different strategy. So... 
if you didn't let me uh, spin this planet. Look at how cool that is floating above the uh, floating above the forest over there. I have to say the artwork is is quite cute in this. It's like you know low poly but cutesy. Definitely has its own flavor to it. to get jeez this is a strategic little game isn't it Double the 
fun. This is the best I've done yet. Okay. Oh yeah, wow, we just... We're getting there, we may... Uh, you know, let me let me not count my eggs before they hatch here. yet but as you can see it definitely has a certain strategy to it each of the different boards <coughs> oh, excuse me each of the different boards have different shapes as well so like some will be a square some will be this long shape some might be you know up and down rather than long ways some might be a larger some can be real small so it, it depends. Again, you could do sandbox mode where you just freely build, but again, you are limited to how many tiles you have because you do need to hit the uh, score goals to generate more tiles and things like that. So definitely cute little game. If you like this style of strategy game, you know, more like the, the matching. I almost want to say it feels like a Settlers of Catan if you've ever played that game where you, you know, you want to match tiles to certain resources and match your roads up and stuff like that it's it's you know it's definitely got that feel to it very well done though like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you all later bye bye Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.